hello dear friends welcome back to my channel as you already know i am making videos on passing strategies for vtu students so i am with another subject today which is for the 21 scheme students especially for the mechanical engineering students okay this is mechanics of materials it is also called as mom in short form so it is subject code is 21 me 44 let me tell you some important questions which you have to cover in this particular subject so that you will easily score in this uh, subject as most of the students are facing problems in these subjects and asking that please upload the video on this particular subject so without wasting any time let me start my dear friends in the module first this is uh, uh, chapter name is stresses and strands okay if you have already come across uh, from the p cycle probably yes uh, definitely you are come across with the these type of definitions over there stress strand diagram and also the uh, properties of the materials like that just recall your physics subject engineering physics subject it is you have already covered these topics over there okay so first of all which is the most important question in the mom subject which is uh, draw stress strand diagram for brittle and ductile materials and indicate salient uh, salient points okay so in the uh, previous scheme uh, sorry in yes uh, 18 scheme so there was uh, stress strand uh, diagram for mild steel also but this time they have deleted in the syllabus so you have to focus on brittle and ductile materials okay and indicate salient points like yield uh, yield stress uh, yield point lower yield point ultimate stress and fr uh, fracture point okay like that you have to uh, salient points you have to indicate over there so this is the first question so next one is explain hooks law also they will uh, uh, frame the question like that explain hooks law with the help of a stress strand diagram okay so next one is which is the most important super important question which i call it so relationship between young's modulus rigidity modulus and poisson's ratio okay and you have to be matured about the definitions also what is young's modulus what is rigidity modulus and what is poisson's ratio so that it will be easy for you people to memorize this uh, to remember this relationship over there and also sometimes they may ask uh, what is the relationship between young's modulus and bulk modulus and poisson's ratio it depends upon the notation what you use over there sometimes Young's modulus is denoted by y you know that already okay so uh, no need to confuse over here this uh, sometimes they will ask y neta and sigma over there so these are the three questions which are most important ones and you have to also focus on properties of materials okay like uh, elasticity plasticity uh, toughness like that you have to focus on uh, definitions and also calculation of stresses in straight uh, stepped and tapered sections which are the easier problems you have to go through so that you will be uh, it will be easy for you people to conquer at least at least i'm taking 15 marks okay if you just cover problems also you uh, you will definitely get 20 marks from this particular module so this is all about the module first which you have to cover otherwise the syllabus is very vast as you already know so in the model second which is uh, analysis of stress and strain so my dear friends this is a problematic module you have to focus on the problems so i have taken here one derivation which is the most important one that is define principal plan and deduce expressions for stresses on inclined plan in a body subjected to biaxial stress condition so this is the important derivation from the module second rest of the uh, what we are uh, what we call as the questions are over there so these are the problems like uh, the state of stress at a point in a stranded material as shown in figure i have taken here an example so figure is shown you have to calculate let me show you the interface what you have to calculate over there so determine the principal stress and principal uh, and principal plan is also and also determine the maximum shear stress and plan on which it is acting also find the normal stress on the maximum shear plan and sketch the element aligned with the plans of principal stress and plans of max uh, sorry maximum shear over there so if you focus on this problem uh, ultimately you will just get uh, 12 marks from this uh, particular module and also if you try more circle for plan stress conditions you have to focus on these problems are also so you have to draw more circle accordingly you have to solve the questions over there so this is a problematic module i may not call it the passing module so first one is the definitely the passing module which you have to focus on so next one is the module third which is a uh, shear force and bending moment it is also a super important module which i call it uh, just because it contains 20 marks question and sometimes uh, 16 marks and 4 marks theory over there a little bit but you have to focus on 20 marks problem and you have to tackle it otherwise it will it is very difficult to pass uh, this particular mom subject if you leave this uh, what we call this particular module module 3 over here 
so super important questions will be like that uh, draw shear force and bending moment diagrams for the beam shown in figure locate the point of contraflexure if any so there will be uh, what we call beams will be there like a cantilever beam pin support roller supported beams subjected to concentrated loads and uniformly distributed load varying loads so these will be the beams who are there you have to just draw shear force and bending moment diagram it is a very uh, easier question but lengthier one you you should know about uh, these shear force diagrams and bending moment diagrams okay if you find some difficulties to so comment down so that i will make a separate video for this uh, particular uh, 20 marks question over there okay so this is the most important part and some theory concepts which you have to cover is problems on bending and shear stress distribution in rectangular i and t section beams okay sometimes video is asking 10 10 marks question one is uh, from the shear uh, shear force and bending moment and also from the uh, this uh, i section and t section beams okay so you have to focus on this uh, you have to cover fully and you should be uh, you should take a dive deep in it so that it will uh, be easy to uncure 20 marks from this model also okay so some uh, theory concepts are over there like uh, explain different types of beams and loads over there and also relationship between sigma y by uh, y is equal to m by i is equal to e by r this is one derivation little bit derivation over here uh, over there so you have to focus on this much so this much content is enough for the model third if you want to acquire uh, 20 marks from this module at least okay so the next module comes up which is the fourth module which is called the deflection of beams and torsion there are two two parts in this particular module so uh, whichever is convenient for you people you you can go but uh, probably you, you should go through this particular chapter that is torsion so one derivation is there derive the torsional equation for a uh, circular shaft with usual notations state the assumptions made and next part is it is circular shaft problems it may be solid shaft and ho uh, hollow, so uh, hollow shaft over there so uh, focus on these problems also circular shaft problems and also power transmission of straight and stepped uh, shafts and twist in the shaft sections okay this much content is enough in the second chapter that is torsion so in the r part there will be questions on the deflection of beams it is according to you people it is your choice which part you should prefer over there but probably go through this uh, torsion part okay as it is a simpler part and it contains less syllabus over there next so in the module fifth you have to go through this uh, thick and thin cylinders which is the problematic uh, module over there also like third module so you have to focus on problems on above mentioned that is thick and thin cylinders to calculate hoop stress and circ uh, circumferential strands longitudinal strands and maximum shear stress and Lamy's equation you have to focus in this particular part and it contains also uh, third uh, three chapters over there my dear friend so this was the first chapter all the data topics uh, which you have to cover and columns column problems are easier ones if you just go through it which is the most convenient part in the module fifth so go through column problems which are easier ones and also if you want to go you uh, you can refer also introduction to strain energy in which some questions are different over there that is like explain uh caustic leon's theorem one and second with it is uh, applications and also strain energy due to axial uh, shear bending torsion and impact load you have to calculate some uh, strain energy over there so this much part is enough for the module fifth so my dear friends this is the content which you have to refer over there so that you will pass this particular subject if you want to score also so this much content is enough also to score over there so i hope this video is beneficial for you people so if you find it good so make sure you will share it with your friends if you are new to my channel so subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon over there.